unboxing the cloth and paper box for uh, March 2019. It got here just in time for the end of March. So um, if you are not familiar with this box, it is a luxury stationery subscription and they have a couple different options, which I'll get into in just a minute. But first, I wanna remind everybody that the giveaway for the Edible Beauty Gold Rush Eye Balm is getting closer to ending. So if you have not already um, watched the video to enter and to win, please do so. And I will leave the video down below so that you can click on it and see what you need to do to win. So here, back to cloth and paper. It's, it's, I already said this, it's a luxury stationery subscription and they do a lot of planners. And I, I don't carry a planner, but on their on your profile, you can pick that you didn't, you don't own a planner. Um, and they have a couple different options. The first one is you can do just the pen subscription. And the pen subscription is $18 a month. If you go through uh, Crate Joy, it's seven, 16 something a month then you can do just the stationery and just the stationery is $38 a month. Or you can do the whole kit and caboodle, the stationery and the pins for $48 a month. So I got the $48 box, so I got both. And let's see what is in it. So it starts with, and again, I have opened this and I put everything back but this is kind of what it looked to look like. And the, the, their theme is there is luxury in simplicity. And they did put this little saying card to put on, like tack on your tacky board or um, I'm gonna hang it up at work. And then there's a card that says paper chaser. And then there is a card that says, well, hello there. And on the back, it talks about um, this box. Uh, they styled this box um, and to check out their blog to tell you more about what you got. And then I do really like this. They do include a test sheet for your pens. As you can see, I've already written it out and they're all black except for one and let's do the pens first now since I have already shown you what they look like because they're all black um, just like ballpoint pens I was kind of hoping that I would get like a cool fountain pen or something like that um, but it does come in this little like pencil case that says um, there's luxury and simplicity on the front of it. And then this is the first pen. Um, this one kind of looks like a big pen, if I'm being honest. But it does have a cool, fine tip on it. Um, and then this one is just a very standard pen with a gel thing on it. There you go. This pen... Um, it is also a, just a standard black pen, but it has some weight to it. I really like that. Um, and the shape is kind of cool. It's like a square shape. So I, I thought that this was a cool pen. This is one that I would buy. Um, and then there is this marker, which you can see right there. And it has two points. So there's that. And then there are two pens that come in these little pen protectors, which I think are really cute. Um, I'm, I love to keep a pen in my purse at all times. Uh, and it's nice to have something like this because then it won't leak everywhere. This um, pink pen comes with the pen protector as little flowers on it. Um, it does write in black, 
but I, I really like this pen and I would expect to pay um, three or four dollars for this pen. And then the last one also has the little protector on it. And I think it looks like the Iron Man colors, maybe because I have a five-year-old. And then it's also just a black ballpoint pen. So that is the pen part of the box. And you can, like I said, you can order just the pens if you want. So there is that. And then when I opened up the box, um, everything is was wrapped really beautiful. Um, this came in it and some washi tape. So this is like a tape dispenser for the washi tape. And there's two of them. I don't normally keep a lot of washi tape in my house because if I want some for a specific project, I typically will just go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby and buy it because it's like less than a dollar a roll. So there's that. Um, but I do like this. I've never seen one of these before. These like tape dispenser thingies for it. So that's pretty cool. All right, so here is where I got really confused and I emailed the company saying, uh, is this a mistake? And they emailed me back and said, no, you need to read our blog to understand what you got. So I'm gonna show you what I got. So I got two of these pens in this. This is a stationary part of the box. So I got two of these pens and then I got two of these pieces of paper that are in plastic. It's kind of like a vellum paper and they both say inbox on them and have like the little barcode. So I'll show you what that looks like. See, it's, it's like a piece of vellum. And I am I am baffled at what to do with these. Please um, comment below what I can use these for. On the blog, it says that you put them in your planner when you haven't decided what you're gonna categorize something with and you use them for that. Now on my profile, I put that I don't use a planner. I really wanted the stationary part of the box. But I got two of these, let's say inbox. And then I got two of these. Um, both of them came in this really nice packaging. I just already opened one. Um, but they are the, exactly the same. And they are these weekly sheets. And then there's like graph paper here. And I got a weekly calendar in my Sunday Riley box. I got one in my FabFitFun box that's kind of a daily one. It, it's more of, um, I'm, I, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say. So I have a couple of different versions of this, which is also why I put on my, on my thing that I don't use a planner, but these are like weekly planner things. And there are two that are exactly the same. So when I took a look, my thought on it was, well, there has to be a mistake because there's duplicates of three things. And that's that was all that was in the box. So I got duplicates of everything. Um, so I did check out their blog. Their blog does say that if you do not have a planner um, or if you don't use a planner that you got two of these and um, then it talked about what these were for and that they and that's where I found out that these are supposed to be used in your planner and then the two pens. So I'm actually not really sure what to do with this. Um, it is intentional that I got two of each. 
Um, but I, I, I'll use the pens, but this was $38. Um, the whole box was $48. The stationary part of it, this part, was $38. So I'm, I'm not really sure what to think. Um, I know that I do buy washi tape on occasion, so I'll probably use the washi tape and the little tape dispenser. The, the stuff I'm not gonna use, and I'm kinda disappointed about it um, because I did put that I don't use a planner. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, give me some ideas on what I can use for these little inbox papers. And um, don't forget to um, watch my video on how to get the Edible Beauty eyeball. See you next time.